All right, we have some Go Battle League battles to go over, so let's jump into it. We're going to pick up where we left off here. Um, on the last set of videos, we went from rank 20 to the ace ranking, and we're just going to go ahead and jump into this. All right, we're up against Ange Keed, rank 20, with the Gyarados hat. Obama Snow leading against Galvantula. Uh, the general premise here is that I was going to go for Weatherball Isis until he launches two lunges and I was going to burn all my shields. So we fire out the first Weatherball Ice here. And then of course he goes for the lunge. I am going to shield this up. Galvantula goes for the lunge. I go for the Weatherball Ice again. There we go. Fire it off. And then now we have a Galvantula going for the second lunge. As predicted. So all that leaves us with is going for a Weather Ball Ice. And then, oh, actually, I go into a Quagsire switch in. Should have just went for the Weather Ball Ice, but we're going to see how this progresses. Galvantula goes for a lunge. Um, my attack stat drops. He switches to a Zoomerol. So I go for the Stone Edge. Boom. There we go. Takes out, like, a good chunk of its health. But then now I just farm up towards an Earthquake here. Um, since I'm minus one on the attack, normally this would take out a Zoomerol, but it's not going to here. So now Azumarill is going to farm us down. It has like a full set of bubbles. And then now we're up against um, Azumarill going for a play rough. Oh, Hydro Pump on the Machamp. And basically takes it out in one hit. So yeah, we're going to answer that with an Obama Snow switching in. And then of course they're going to go for a play rough. I tried to over farm here and get greedy. And it's going to come back to bite me now. Because I made a bad switch in when I should have just had Obama Snow go down. And then we follow that up here with... A Bob Snow going to take it out. Taking out the Galvantula. Uh, we're up against a Stunfisk. There we go. Takes out like a third of its health. I just surrender and move on. You got me. Chris C01 is our next opponent. A Bob Snow versus Victory Bell. I have a good lead here. He's not going to. He's going to switch it out. So he switches from a Victory Bell to a Stunfisk. I switch from a Bob Snow to a Champ. And then we charge up. Uh, Stun Fist goes for a Rock Slide. I choose to shield it when I really didn't need to. Oh, you know what? I was going to shield one anyway because I wanted to get a full farm down so that I could just uh, pressure the Victory Bell on the switch in with a fully charged Machamp. So they go for the Cross Chop, the shield bait here. And uh, we fire off the Cross Chop. There we go. Boom. Make him think, oh, he doesn't have Rock Slide, so let's just not shield this next Cross Chop. So I fire off a Rock Slide. He doesn't shield it, so Victory Bell goes down, and now we just have an Azumarill left. So all that's left for me to do is to just uh, go for Rock Slide 1. There we go. And then we get taken out here. Azumarill's at like a third health. So we just bring in Quagsire just to dish out some damage before it gets taken out. And then have Obama Snow clean up afterwards. Uh, Quagsire goes for an Ice Beam here. Or, yeah, Quags sorry, Azumarill went for the Ice Beam. Quagsire goes for a Stone Edge and then he just gave up and let Azumarill go down. Next up is Chu Heister. And we have a uh, Obama Snow versus Azumarill. It's a good lead for me. He's possibly going to switch out, but if he stays in, I just spam Energy Ball. So I charged up just a little bit past the Energy Ball to make sure he doesn't switch out and have something soak it. Go for the Energy Ball. He doesn't shield it, so um, his Azumarill is basically at low health. So as always, when he doesn't shield, I just uh, shield his next attack, and then I charge up as much as I can and farm down. But yep, I shield the first attack, I take the second Ice Beam, and then after that, I, for whatever reason, chose to just go straight for the Weather Ball to take out the Azumarill, and down it goes. Next up, we have Obama Snow versus Obama Snow, so I'm going to go for Weather Ball Ice here. Um, Obama Snow is going to shield it, and then min uh, mine's going to go down. So I bring in Machamp, and of course, um, they're going to use a Weather Ball Ice. I'm going to not shield it, because I want to save my shield for Quagsire, just in case. Um, a champ were to go down. So I go for the cross chop here. A bomb snow is going to shield it. There we go. And of course, he's going to go for uh, Weather Ball Ice. I choose to shield by a champ because I just wanted to make sure that Quagsire was nice and healthy. So, yep, yeah, of course, my next step here is to go for an Earthquake and a Stone Edge. And then after that, ship damage onto the Obama Snow. So here we go. We fire off an Earthquake. Takes out. A little over half of Umbreon's health so that means that we have to go for a second earthquake if we want to be able to take down this Umbreon. Foul play puts us in the red so I charge up towards the second earthquake and then we're gonna go ahead and what am I doing that was the worst swipe ever 
Anyway, Oven Brown goes down, and then of course uh, we do chip damage on the Obama Snow, and then we win. Next up is Ran Papa 12. All right, it's Obama Snow, or sorry, it's Azumarill versus uh, Mawile. Obviously, we're gonna take a little break from our usual team here because now that we're in the ace rank, I need to start pushing raiding a little bit, and honestly, using the shadow team is getting a little stale and difficult against people that know what they're doing. But anyway, um, the opponent switches into a cast form. Obama Snow is gonna come in to answer that. I use a Weather Ball Ice here, and then of course, um, I'm gonna have the shield here. It's gonna go for another Weather Ball Ice. I'm going to go ahead and answer back with a Weather Ball Ice on my Ode. There we go. Fire it off. Boom. And then now we just, uh, now that I've drained both of his shields, I have to go ahead and answer back. But I'm already anticipating that he's going to switch out here. And he does into him a while. So I bring a zoom roll back in. There we go. And now we just go for an overcharge here because I want to be able to switch a zoom roll out and not have whatever switches in over farm the zoom roll. So now we're at a uh, fully charged Azumarill. We're gonna go for a Hydro Pump here and then possibly go for an Ice Beam or a Hydro Pump. He brings Cast Form back in, but we're gonna wait for it to happen on the video. There we go, Cast Form. So I thought, hey, you know what? Might as well just do as much damage as I can to take this out before I have to switch into my last Pokemon. There we go, we fire off a Hydro Pump and look at that, the Cast Form's nearly fainted and Azumarill was able to take it out. So that leaves us with a Hypno versus a Marowak. Lucky us. And of course, he forfeits because it's Hypno versus Marowak. What do you think is going to happen? Especially if he doesn't have Shadow Ball. All right, so Obama Snow versus Azumarill. Um, Azumarill switches out. Uh, Skarmory comes in, so I just go for a Weather Ball Ice and then possibly stay in. I'm... Nope, I'm going to switch into Quagsire because we're back to the Shadow Team. So yeah, we go for Weather Ball Ice. Now Skarmory's health is low enough to go for Stone Edge Spam. We're gonna go for a Stone Edge here. We fire off an excellent Stone Edge. Boom, he shields it. And then now we just have to get another, um, no, you know what? We're gonna sacrifice the Quagsire here because I wasn't gonna get to another Stone Edge, so it would have been a waste. So we bring Bomb of Snow back in after um, Skarmory wastes a Sky Attack on the Quagsire. There we go. And then uh, we just uh, try to farm up as much as we can. And then we just go for a nice Weather Ball Ice just to add that extra flavor for the video. In comes Scrafty, so of course I'm gonna fire off some Weather Ball Ices here. There's the first one. We bring him a champ just to uh, shave off what we can. And then of course with the zoom roll, it's just like, okay, great, so the zoom roll, so that means I have to spam Rock Slide on this thing until it finally faints. So of course with here, I go straight, I go ahead and not do that when I should have. I uh, sacrifice him a champ for a bomb of snow that was in the red. I don't know what I was thinking. But, you know, you live and learn, and then you move on. So, yeah, when you see that situation, never sacrifice your healthy Machamp. Anyway, next up, Yuzuz TG. Obama Snow versus Marowak lead. Obviously, this is terrible for me, so I have to switch out to Quagsire. Because you'll see why in a moment. Um, Quagsire is going to shield up here. Marowak is charged up, goes for a Shadow Bone, switches to a Zoom, a zoom Roll. So I went ahead and went straight for the Earthquake here. Azumarill is going to shield it up. Smart move because uh, it would have wrecked its health. Anyway, so now we just go for an Earthquake again here. We just keep the Earthquake pressure going on. He doesn't shield it, so now we can transition over to Stone Edges until it finally falls over. Um, Azumarill is going to go for the Ice Beam here, and then we just fire off, uh, try to get to a Stone Edge, but we couldn't do it. So down we go, and then it's a fairly well-charged Azumarill going up against our team. So yeah, there we go. Um, Azumarill goes for the play rough. I have a Bomb of Snow soak it, so that means that I can safely bring in a champ. So we're going to go charge up towards a rock slide, go for the cross shot for a shield bait. Marowak takes the bait, so now Marowak's going to go for a shadow bone, and then we can get to a rock slide before it can get to a shadow bone to take out my champ. We get the rock slide, we're going to charge it up. There we go. Nice. Great. Excellent. Rock Slide takes out the Marowak. Look at that. We were able to outplay him there. And now we just farm down the Azumarill with counters. And then finally finish it off with a Stun Fist that forfeits because we just straight up outplayed him there. All right, next up is Gabarito Jr. It's a Bomb Snow versus Bash Yodan. So we're going to go ahead and switch to Machamp just to bait. And something else to switch in. It's a Venusaur. 
So we just thought, hey, you know what? Let's just go for a rock slide just to see if he's not going to shield it. And of course, he does not shield it. Should have just went for the cross chop. But anyway, Venusaur is going to go for a frenzy plant here. We're going to go ahead and farm up towards the rock slide, but then go for a cross chop and do the proper baiting this time just to see if we can get there. And he shields it. There we go. But uh, we were able to drain both of his shields. Obama Snow has one. I had a feeling that he was going to go for a Frenzy Plant. So I had Obama Snow take that Frenzy Plant without wasting his shield. We farm down the Venusaur. And then we get ready to switch to Quagsire. Because whatever comes in, Quagsire can wreck it with um, it not having shields up. So we charge up towards an Earthquake. But we try to be careful because we don't want him to switch into something that's going to soak it easily. He does not have anything to switch into. So we bring in the Earthquake onto the... Uh, Bastiodon and then down goes Bastiodon. Next up we charge up towards another Earthquake and that's going to be enough to take out the uh, Surfetch. Let's face it, an Earthquake on a Surfetch is not going to be able to survive. So yep, yeah, there we go. We had a much better set this time after getting the flow down for the team. And um, now we're just uh, grinding right, up towards the next one. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Um, everyone's asleep, so I'm trying to be quiet. But either way, thanks again for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you for the next video. Enjoy.